First I gotta take out all this stuff here. Um, yeah, so let me go let these seats down here. Take these seat belts out. Put those down. Take this mat out here. Take all this take all these mats out. Not so many mats in the car. Tray. Oh, I put so much stuff in this tray. This tray is awesome. All right, so take the cover off. So I already kind of know what to do because I did this when I did the when I did a um, when I did the change the battery or repaired the battery on my other Prius. So I think that should be. And I could lift it lift it out now. It's got a bunch of junk in there, so. I'll do it with two hands, gotta put okay. the camera down. And I gotta take this little side tray out. And, oh man, it's got a bunch of junk in it. Yeah, you got the little tray out. Yeah, it's probably easier if you don't have so much junk in your car like me. Uh, I just I just kinda just pulled it really hard and it came out. You know, and then you gotta take this out. Hides the battery. thing here it comes out like that so I guess while I'm at it I can probably clean the the um, the cooling system for the battery so so now I gotta take uh, this cover out um, and I just take these out and this should come out because I think this is blocking it anyways that's good all right sorry the compressors on the next thing you want to do is take this this cover thing off so uh, use a 10 millimeter to take these bolts out right out I should, well I, I don't think I think it's pretty dummy proof you just have to line up this claw in that hole there so let's put that someplace safe actually I have a parts tray I'll probably put it in there later so you don't have to mess around with the spare at all you can leave that in there and it should kind of come out now I think you got something else there's like uh, some clips holding it in and uh and, and then it's held on by velcro here Pull that out. Good opportunity to clean your car while you're doing this too. <laughs> so I think you can you can probably just pull it out, but I'm gonna use a pry bar. I think I, I don't know. I don't think it's a good idea as a pry bar. That's the battery right there. <laughs> I don't think so. Let me just pull it. it should come out. What kind of screws are on there. Oh yeah, it's in the front. Okay. Try it on the front of the battery to get it out. It's so annoying. Yeah, what happened? Where did they all go? Oh, okay. So there's two here and then one in the center. Um, yeah, unfortunately I didn't break it. They just kind of slipped off, so I'm gonna have to try to get it out there somehow. And, uh, ah, there's another one, okay. Something else holding it in here. This, this thing here. Just pull that out. That's the little pin holding it in. I hate taking interior pieces out. This is why I don't like doing this job here, but. I'm sure your your mechanic will charge you an arm and a leg to do this stuff. It seems quite unnecessary to work on the suspension, you know. I heard in the later the later models of the Prius that they had an axis panel. It was easier to do. Okay, got that. Fucked it up a little bit. It should be come out now. Ta da! And there's out. some there's some bolts here that gotta come out. Barely long enough. There. Should use an extension. Okay. Well, I know I really don't want to touch that battery you know, as much as possible. Oh yeah, you're gonna have to kind of take some of the battery stuff out too. So annoying. 
hate this. And then, so you gotta pop these little thingies out here. It's kind of fragile. All right, and then uh, I'm going to take these back ones out of here. I'm just trying to find anything I can get. They look like they're interchangeable with the ones on the front. Uh -oh. I don't want that. I lost the bolt. The bolt's in there somewhere. I want the bolts right here. Okay. So I want those there. Maybe I'll take this out too. Lot of work. It's a lot of work. I think I gotta take these out. So this is what's next right here. Okay. Should come out easily. It's so really handy to have a torque thingy. Let's put that all there. Hopefully you can remember what's what. It's so annoying. Alright, these side thingies, I remember I took it out before, but I think you gotta pull up on it. Pull up. And it'll come out. There we go. Pull up and out and hold. Oh, sorry. Hit the camera. Oh, okay, so yeah, it's like hiding down here, so you gotta take these bolts off. So it'll be like, uh, like this. Alright, All right, this is gonna be really hard to do with one hand, so I'm gonna put the camera down. All right, so I got it out. So basically, you have to press this, this, the cushion in all the way so you can get to that. And it just comes right out. I don't remember taking it out the last time I did that. I don't remember. Maybe, maybe whoever worked on the shock absorbers on that car before didn't put that bolt back. I don't see. Yeah, I don't see why. All right, so, so I'm assuming this side has one too. Okay, so let's do the same thing on that side. All right, I got it out. There we go. Just press up on it and it comes right out. Easy. Well, I'll just put it in here, I guess. Or... So, alright. So things are looking pretty good. And then, uh, then I think it says you had to take the seat packs out. Because there must be some bolts you need to get to. Okay, so I think at this point, um, at this point, you can take the side panel out. Oh, looks like most of it's out already. Jeebers, dude. I can't. I, st I still don't see the shocks. <laughs> still don't see the shock tire. I haven't even uh, taken the wheels off the car yet. This is how, how far behind I... There's something else holding it in here. another pin holding it in. I don't want to break it. Let's use this guy to pry it out. Boom, there it goes. Off it is. Boom! I got one side. <laughs> so this is the main this is the main thing you're trying to get out right here. This thing I'm a jigger here. So the same thing should come out on the other side. I think I have to take this light out. Okay, I got my handy uh, interior trim tools here. Hopefully they come in handy. I hope. There we go. This pops right out. Bolt that for now. So I think I'm going to make a video on how to take the trim apart. I know there's a couple videos on YouTube <laughs> of the real deal. So it should just come right out now. Without breaking it. And it's out! It's out! <laughs> I think it's out. There we go. This is such a flimsy piece of a thing right here. Interior. So... Oh, I'm crying already. Look at how much stuff... Look at how much work we've done already. Alright, so I think uh, you have to take this out next. This has got to come out a little snorkel for the battery cooling system. Snorkel for the battery cooling system. Now. 
this one out. Take this, uh, whatever it looks like a relay of some sort. All you do is get some pliers and, and uh, squeeze on this, and then it comes right out. And take out your uh, cooling duct here, make sure you clean that out really good. Is that uh, the life of your battery depends on that. Uh, and then, um, and then, so and rejoice, I see the shock absorbers. <laughs> so these got to come out, and I think that's it. Uh, I don't know if we have to take the seat backs out. Um, if you need to take the seat backs out, oh man, I think we might be able to get away with it. You can probably just go here and here. I would, oh damn it, yeah, you know what? They look like they're in the way too. I would say, I would just say go ahead and take the seat backs out later. So go ahead and take these four bolts out. All right, 14 milliliters. Fairly meaty bolts. Make sure you don't lose those. So I'll just put them on here and I'll know that's where they're from. So go ahead and take that out. Probably just slide it out a little bit. That's, that's about all we need right there. Take this one out. Put that somewhere safe. Other side. Take this out. Should come right out. And then just pull it forward just enough so you can work on the bolts. And then that's it. And then go ahead and take these out. Those look like they're 12s. <sighs> Thanks, Toyota. Remember, to work on Toyotas, you need a 10, 12, and a 14, and maybe like a 17. <laughs> but, all right, so again, go ahead and take these uh, um, bolts out. Let go. Give support to the battery. To lose them. Oops. Okay, just make sure you're putting these bolts. Actually, no, no. Just take the bolts out. It's fine. No problem. <laughs> just take the bolts out because we're gonna get some more stuff over there, and you're gonna want to be mixing them up. So I dropped another bolt here. I'll put this bolt here. These ones. I'll probably get this one out with the gun. It's kind of loose. Okay, then I'll get a wrench for that. All right, so you just use a wrench, loosen them. Oh, man. Loosen them a little bit. Let's get a regular wrench. I need a ratcheting one. Enough where you can loosen them by hand. Battery support bracket comes out. Let's go ahead and do the other side. So now that I've got this on video, um, if I ever want to figure out how to take the interior apart and the rear again, this is how you do it. Stick that up. Just don't mix them up. One of their, they have, it says right and the other one says left, so there's no way you can mix them up. And it's really dirty in here. I don't know why. Okay. So that's it. Interior is... Taken it apart. Um, yeah, well, the brackets aren't part of the interior, but you get the picture. So, a little note on taking these brackets out the, the ones that go here on the front that are kind of hard to get out. Um, I read the VFAC uh, on this, and uh, it says don't remove these bolts. Now, uh, now, I thought the same thing too. Like, hey, well, I can probably just get a wrench in there, you know, and take it out very carefully and uh, be careful. But, but I thought um, I would have thought that uh, installing it would have been a real pain in the ass because then you have to get it in there, and it it's so much easier to just take these out and don't even don't even take the seat out all the way. Just just uh, take the bolt out and just slide it forward a little bit. 
and that, that should be enough. And like, uh, even if, I mean, if you're gonna do battery maintenance, I mean, if you're gonna take the battery out of the car, then, um, then yeah, this is a, you need to move them anyway so you can get access to that. All right, just a little note, Hades and McGout.